introduction, thank you for all you've done for the Republican Party delegates. Thank you for having me here today. You're the heart and soul of this conservative party. Thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, let me be clear. I'm running to be the next governor of South Carolina because I'm a proud conservative and I believe together we can create a better tomorrow for our state. Today the recession that grips our economy is creating challenges for South Carolinians as far as jobs, businesses, and families, pushing devastating consequences in every community. Many of our fellow citizens are struggling to pay the bills, meet payroll, and pay the mortgages. In response, Democrats in Washington have replaced free market principles with trickle-down government. We know a better way forward to embrace the principles of freedom that have made this party great and the foundation of economic growth. We know better and in South Carolina we can do better. My views on government were formed in my family business where I ran. I met the payroll, paid my taxes, played by the rules, and followed the law. I learned firsthand that government and stimulus should not be used in the same sentence. Being the chief executive office, officer of even the smallest company gives you an understanding of the impact government has on the private sector every day. Something you can't get from running a government agency. I'm proud to be a conservative, and let me tell you this, I am not going to back down. We need a strong conservative leading South Carolina. And with your help, that's exactly what we'll have next November. In the face of the worst economic downturn in generations, we want to spend money we don't have to grow the size of government. Even some Republicans in D.C. and here at home believe that. But growing government is the answer it never has and never will be. In the six years of the Bush administration, I voted against $9.3 trillion of spending, and in six weeks in the Obama administration, I voted against $5 trillion. If maxing out your credit card doesn't work for your business or your home, why should it work in the government? We have to stop spending money we don't have. You can sum it up, all of my plans for South Carolina in one word. Jobs. We have to start focusing on what makes South Carolina work. High quality jobs. World class education. And a quality of life that respects and reflects our values. Over the coming months, you'll hear my detailed vision for South Carolina, or what I call the three E's, economic development, education, and energy. But first, we must make our state a hotbed of job creation and innovation. I'll be a tireless salesman when it comes to that. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is not a one-man job. We all have a responsibility to be ambassadors for our port, our manufacturers, and our small businesses that create 60% of our jobs. We'll compete with our neighbors so the brightest no longer have to graduate to jobs in Atlanta and Charlotte, but to Greenville and Charleston. Businesses will look to Buford rather than Birmingham because we have established a regulatory, legal, and tax framework that encourages innovation and risk. But the reality is simple. We can't do that without an educated workforce. We've got too many children failing and dropping out of school, and we cannot tolerate that. The global marketplace is more competitive than ever, and the high-tech jobs require better schools, better teachers, workers, and, and people. We can improve our schools by empowering parents with educational choices and rewarding teachers for innovation and excellence in the classroom. In the coming months, I'm going to travel to all of our 46 counties and meet with small business owners, teachers, moms, and dads, because they make South Carolina work, not government. Our challenge may be tall, but it's also simple. We have to hold on to our values and change the things that hold us back. It won't be easy. The Democrats are trying to spend our way to prosperity and nationalize everything they can get their hands on, from immigration to health care to tax reform. I think they even nationalize McDonald's and NASCAR and sweet tea if they can, think they can do it. So we need strong conservative leadership in South Carolina. Conservative that works for you and with you in this state. Thanks for your time and thanks for being here today.